If you've ever been out prospecting around an old mine and wish you had a time machine, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And today we are going to dig into using LiDAR to map out and figure out old gold mines um, from the old maps that they had produced back in the day. So let's get into it. Hey YouTube, this is uh, Matt Hospital, the prospecting geologist, and today we are going to take a look at some of these old style um, gold mine maps that you'll come across and show you how with using LiDAR that you can actually map out and figure out where these features are on these maps in the field in real life. Um, because I know when you when when you look at these maps, and even if you're in the field and stuff, you can look at them. And given that there's been a hundred and some years have passed, that it can be damn near impossible when you're on the ground in the field to tell what's going on with these features and stuff. Um, and the two mines we're going to look at today are both. Just giving the disclaimer here, they're both on private property. I don't know who owns them. I don't have access to them. It's just kind of a. Uh, an academic this is a little bit of an academic study for any of you guys who may have access to similar mines like this um, with maps and everything especially if you're out west where there's a lot more uh, large-scale mining activity and everything but uh, the first one here is this is a hand-drawn map from back in the day probably around 1900 of the uh, young American mine in Virginia. Um, so as you can see here, I mean, we've got roads. They talk about shafts and pits and uh, tunnels, office buildings and everything. But a lot of times for the prospector, even if you have access to this area, it's very, very difficult to figure out what was where when you're on the ground because there's just very little reference points left. Um, and especially without a good aerial view, and that's where LiDAR comes in. Um, so if we transfer to Google Earth here, we're looking at the Young American Mine, and there's some other associated little prospects around and stuff. But uh, you can tell, like, even with Google Earth, yeah, yeah, you got your, your mine point here, but it's not, it doesn't show you that much, and even with being able to scroll back through the years to find one without foliage coverage yeah yeah you can't really tell much can you um, other than yeah, maybe it was right there but those points are also rather inaccurate sometimes um, somebody's got a house there too so yeah once again private property don't you can try and get permission to figure out who owns it and stuff but don't go there and otherwise you will be trespassing <laughs> um, but now let's overlay some LiDAR and we'll start to see some stuff open up on it. Um, so there's your LiDAR overlay. You can start to see a lot of interesting stuff that's been going on here and a lot of workings, including placer and hard rock. Um, so with that, let's pull up this guy. Okay, so now we've got the screens arranged here so we can see both side by side. Um, see the stream that used to go through here, obviously they've since built a dam, which doesn't help us in this too much, <laughs> but, uh, you can start to take a look here and we're, what you generally will try and do is you try and matching up old roads to, uh, to what you're seeing on here. And I've gone through and I did this in the past. Um, and it takes a bit of practice, because even right now, looking at it, it's hard to match up. Um, but we'll turn on that layer, and you'll see that it starts to become that you can actually map it out. Um, and the lake throws off some of the proportions here. But to me, this is just an awesome feature to be able to map this out and figure out where everything was without actually ever visiting the site. Um, and it's actually probably easier this way because if you're at the site it'd be difficult to have an overhead view of everything. So from here you can see uh, 
deet shaft, deet shaft. Then we have these old stopes, which have a lot of collapsed in or they dug out. Um, Willard Tunnel, probably this one right here. And then you got the Eureka Tunnel coming in right there with some stuff. And there was, looked like they had a building about right here. The Urna Incline office building would have been about right there. And then the Prospect Tunnel here, I believe, is underwater. Or it could have been, this could be that building there. Um, and then the sulfur shaft is over here up behind the mill. Um, and so if you have access to areas like this, this is going to be huge with just like piecing together the history of the mine that you're trying to work and everything, especially if you're out west. Um, and the other great thing it does, and the LiDAR will let you see, is that they're, they were working two vein trends at least, if not three. Um, because these, these guys right here are prospect trenches trying to cut the vein and then they got shafts on them. So you got a, you got a vein going right there. And you have at least another vein coming through. Coming through and heading down that way. Um. And that's huge to be able to know where those veins are, because if you have access to these properties, you know generally where to metal detect and take sample pans. Um, and that's just huge, huge uh, plus. Um, there's so much you can learn from this LiDAR with piecing it together, especially when you have access to these old mine maps and everything. Um, this was this was definitely an interesting one to put together and I wish I had access to this area but unfortunately I do not um, it's a gated gated house and everything can't even drive up and ask them for permission um, but there was a ton of work done here and there's a lot of history on this mine it's really cool um, a lot of detailed history and geologic stuff on it um, but that's one of the advantages of LiDAR is to be able to help piece together that history that's almost lost um, but, okay, so that's the Young American. Now we're going to jump over to the U.S. Ford mine. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at our second example of using LiDAR to help map out in the real world these uh, old mine maps and everything. Um, so right now we're looking at the U.S. mine, I believe, United States mine is what it was called. Um, and right now you can see with Google Earth, there's, eh, you can't tell anything. Too much foliage and there's actually the unfortunate fact that they've built houses all over the top of it. Um, yeah, so some of those houses are on mine shafts, um, or pretty close to it. But if you look here on the right side, we got a uh, nice, nice map showing shafts, tailing dumps, and strikes of veins um, that other than knowing that there was a mine somewhere right in this area you wouldn't be able to tell anything from Arrow from Google Earth um, and on the ground with all the hills and valleys and trees it'd be very hard to probably figure this out on the ground if you had access to this. Once again all private property there's a bunch of houses all through here it's a subdivision now which actually is very sad with this history just getting bulldozed over. Um, but yeah, let's pull up let's pull up the LiDAR and shed some light on it. Okay. So now this one is a little harder to put together than what the uh, previous mine was. But from what I was able to tell looking at it, if you see this this tailing pile here seems to correspond very closely in shape to this mound right here. It's just road almost cut through and destroyed some of it. Um, and then there's a bunch of workings in here that somewhat got demolished, but it seems to seems to correlate fairly closely. So from that, I was able to kind of put that together. This one did not have shaft names and everything, but let's beef up this guy.
So this pile is that pile, and this vein is this coming off of it. And then as you go up, there's this vein, and you have this old shaft, is that there? And you can see how you can start piecing this together, because one of the best clues for this one was these two random uh, collapsed pits or shafts right here. Um, and we cross over up into this. And you can see the shaft and the dumps right here. So this is a dump with a shaft on top and another dump with a shaft on top. Um, then they have this big cut, which is going up the hill right here, and these other workings all going up the hill. Um, so once again, this is just an awesome tool to be able to use to piece together the history of some of these old mines. Um, and I, I find that fascinating, even if I don't have access to them. I just like to take it and figure, figure these out, because then it helps you as you go to other prospects that you have access to, some of the stuff that you learn from these ones and the processes and decisions that they made digging these mines will be similar between them. Um, and it's just a fascinating process. Uh, but yeah, this was a cool mine. I love reading the history of all these mines and everything. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the two examples of using LiDAR to help map out these old mines and everything from their old mine maps, which would be very hard to do in the field itself. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe it, and we're going to get back with more LiDAR stuff. Um, yeah, and if you would like LiDAR for yourself, please visit my website, uh, theprospectinggeologist.com, and I can see if I can help you. So, yep, thanks for watching.